Hi, I'm Jason from Carbon Kid and I'm one of this year's Trend Vision Award mentors. I've been in the hairdressing game for 36 years now. Um, 16 of them I have spent with well professionals uh, working on lots of different projects like guest artist program, mentorships, whatnot. Um, kind of like an industry that I fell into. I was supposed to be a chef. Um, ironically, I've ended up being a colorist majority that works with metallic items that almost make me a chef like um, so I'm, I'm bringing different things into my hair just in world that kind of I feel we can kind of elaborate on um, hair the hair world is a very interesting place an exciting place to be um, I'm glad I chose this career um, I've been solo now with my own brand for three years and obviously working with Wella which is amazing um, but my, most of my journey is spent as in specialising in colour, which has been 25 years specialising. So it's a great place to be and I'm really glad I'm in that. I think being a colourist uh, in the industry, especially now, is uh, really exciting. Something that I'd always aspired when I started hair to be in. Um, colour is very interesting because it's scientific, it can be very classic, but it's also very creative. And it opens up such a broad spectrum of stuff that focuses on fashion, trend driven, any creative industry that works with pantones, texture. Uh, I mean, you can get so much by being a colorist. I've always aspired to kind of have all those elements. So be a chef, be a scientist, be a designer, be in graphics and just combine it all into color. Being a mentor is really important. It's something I always wanted to do. And in the most of my career, I've spent in education. Uh, so nurturing people and talent. And one of the things I always loved to do was bring out the best in people. And there's such a good sense of achievement when you do it. And it's quite overwhelming sometimes to see how people move from one thing to the next stage, just by showing them very small little elements to to progress their education. And I think education in mentoring is really important. I'm really proud to be a mentor for well professionals, especially the Trend Vision Award. And that kind of opens up so many different categories and you never get bored. I think when you present an idea to a panel, um, be prepared, you know, like, well, your preparation is most important. Um, being comfortable, making it more simplistic and not too hard uh, so top tip would be stream streamline it a little bit um, if you've got a hundred words to say say 70 uh, because as long as you point out what your model's about what you're influenced by and what you're trying to achieve those tips will come across uh, but putting too much fanfare on it sometimes can kind of dilute what you're trying to say so straight to the point Make sure you've got a punchy model, got good content, and that the overall look is amazing. When you're creating a, a total look, especially for a competition like Trend Vision, uh, you there's so many aesthetics, it's not just about the colour, even though that in the colour category that's a big major part, but it's also the aesthetic of how it's presented. So working closely with makeup artists, clothes designers and whatnot is an interesting element. And I think the more you do it, I think when the more you present an initial look, and then you've got to imagine it you that you're going to not win. about other people in and a sense. Taking part is an immense part of communication, it. growing your finding look. the right team. So if you, know, you putting yourself out had there looking a, at a total look in your head, but then you have also have two subtle versions, use that correctly, think of the right order, like A, B, C. So when you go through Obviously, photographic is first, then regional is presentation. You can up your game, and the good thing about that is that you get to see other competitors and what they're doing. So you can see if you're being influenced too much by something because someone else is doing it. So you up your game by changing small details, making the colour punchier on the next round, or changing the clothes slightly and the bigger the stage the bigger the presence 
when you're looking to present a look, I think especially now how Chan Vision's evolved, that you have much more scope and you can look beyond things. So we're looking for fresh take on something. So a tip of not what to do is if it's saturated in the high street, imagine that there might be 10 other people who do that same look. So it's almost like do the reverse. So if everyone's doing long bleached hair, do a black bob, you know, in a sense. But obviously the colour category is much more to it, much more aesthetic. But try and look beyond the obvious. I think when you present an initial look, you've got to imagine that you're going to win. And a taking part is an immense part of it. So growing your look. So if you have a, a total look in your head, but then you has also have two subversions, use that correctly, think of the right order, like A, B, C. So for regional heats, you want to see like a really nice aesthetic, lovely colour work, lots of detail. It's nice to see something that stands out. So small details can stand out, like um, I mentioned before, if you've got loads of long blonde, a black bob would automatically stand out. So I think if you think cleanly like that to start with, you can then build on it. So if you had a black bob, it could be a black and red bob in the next stage, and then it could be black, red, and a little bit blue. So there's, there's elements of building your character all the way through competition. I am really looking forward to seeing the entrance. It's always an exciting part um, to see people's ideas and see what their takes are. Uh, and working in different regions around the UK is always amazing because you get different content. So I'm looking for someone who really stands out and kind of thinks beyond the obvious.